Plastic is everywhere you look. It has revolutionized our lives. At the same time, however, plastic has also become a danger to nature and humankind. For example, over 2,200 marine species are negatively affected by plastic waste worldwide. Christian Redel is a freediver and holds several world records. He has traveled the world. He believes everyone who has experienced the miracles of nature firsthand wants to preserve it. Imagine this old plastic waste being transformed into a new, better, technically more advanced product. With products made from 100% recycled material, upcycling sounds like a dream, but it's already a reality. Uli is a state-of-the-art collection and recycling system for used cooking oil from households and the catering industry. Since 1999, the early system has enabled the clean and efficient collection of used cooking oil and fat. Previously, the bucket was made exclusively of virgin material. The recycling early is an example of upcycling rigid plastics. Let's see how it's made. Christian Redel is on his way to see one of the many recycling centers that have become established as comprehensive waste collection points in Upper Austria. Oui. Who came up with the idea for recycling early? Lavu has been collecting and sorting different types of waste for recycling purposes for almost three decades. So it was only natural for us to use recycled materials for our product and operating supplies. And what are the typical plastic products that are disposed of and then processed here? Typically, they're household plastics, laundry baskets, children's toys, garden chairs, etc. Well, that basically sounds like what I found in the river. Yes, exactly. The upcycling process has started. Christian Redel follows the rigid plastics to the company Borealis. Borealis is an expert in polyolefins, base chemicals and fertilizers. The Austrian plastics manufacturer is becoming increasingly involved in recycling and is the first manufacturer to buy a plastics recycling company. Here at the MTM plastic site in Niedergebra in Germany, the collected post-consumer plastic waste meets its maker. Why was Borealis the first plastics manufacturer to invest in a recycling facility? Well, we believe plastic is a fantastic material to work with. We think it's too valuable to just throw it away. And that's what motivated us to get involved and participate in the Uli project. Because we believe that it's possible to upcycle recyclates. Lindner's recycling tech's Jupiter 1800 first shreds rigid plastics to the desired particle size. The shredded material is then freed from dirt and other residues. What's most important in the shredding and cleaning process? The real challenge here is that one, the shredder has to deliver homogeneous output 24-7 and two, it can't just stop because there's an iron plate in the machine. We've seen it all before, the wrong things in the input material, the wrong items in the plastic bin. Now when it comes to cleaning, the step that comes right after shredding, we have to differentiate between wet and dry cleaning. During the dry cleaning process, labels, for example, are removed by friction. Afterwards, the material is optically sorted at an extremely high speed. It's too fast for the human eye, so different plastic types are detected by reflected light and then precisely sorted by fine compressed air nozzles. Now comes extrusion. This is the responsibility of Interema Regrind Pro, an Arema machine. It produces the regranulate, which is what recycling early is made of. What's particularly challenging about extruding post-consumer rigid plastics? Obviously, our main challenge is that we melt the rigid plastics and while being melted or smelted, the plastic is filtered to free it from contaminants, such as wood or cross-linked plastic. The big moment has arrived. The recycling early is now molded from regranulate. And here it is, 
the new recycling early which will gradually replace the existing earlies. Recycling early is made from 100% recycled, which means completely recycled plastic. The plastic waste I collected has also gone into it. The bucket certainly looks good at first glance, but is it really as good as it claims? Let's go and check it out. The Transfer Center for Plastics Technology in Wels, in cooperation with the Johannes Kepler University Linz, tests recycling early's quality. The product is required to meet extremely high technical standards. And what's happening here? We're performing a quality check on the bucket. What we're doing is we're placing the bucket in a universal testing machine and pushing down on it with a certain load. We're simulating the load of multiple full buckets stacked on top of one another and observing whether it compresses, how it's crushed. That's how we test whether the material meets our standards. But there are still many more criteria that recycling early has to satisfy. It also has to meet heat resistance and shape retention standards. What temperature does recycling early have to withstand so that it doesn't lose its shape? Recycling early is designed in such a way that it can be filled with oil at a temperature of 80 degrees. So we test it at 80 degrees when it's full and see if it changes shape, because we want to make sure that the final product really will remain stable and won't leak. Field test at home in the kitchen. Deep frying mushrooms requires a lot of oil. And straight after a quick meal, it's poured directly into recycling early. Recycling early is a, a multiple-use product, which means that we want it to be used for years. It passed my test, now it's full and will go back to the recycling center. From there, the recycling earlies are taken to Lavu, the upper Austrian recycling company. There, the recycling earlies are cleaned, dried and distributed. By the way, the collected waste oil is recovered for the biodiesel industry. Even here, nothing is disposed of. Everything is recycled. Environmental protection, recycling and economic efficiency are no longer mutually exclusive. Too much plastic is simply thrown away. With strong partners, it's possible to produce even better, technically advanced products, such as recycling early. To preserve our resources, we should recover as many recyclable materials as possible.